there's a lot of people that were printing different masks and whatnot. They asked if we could get involved. And we tried to come up with a quicker, um, less expensive way of making them. And so we just, I came into the shop on Monday morning and talked to a couple of the guys and they banged out a quick prototype for us. Um, we've been involved with the groups over at Schulich um, and someone over at the hospital and they're running them into the hospital and they're doing trials on them to see what fit, what people like and what they don't like about them. The unit is basically just a, a, a strap around the forehead that's cut out of the same material and it's got a Velcro strap that goes around the back of the head. And the material they're made out of is a PET-G material, which is a basically polycarbonate bound. So it can actually be wiped down with an alcohol without crazing and they'll be able to clean them. The thickness of the material is roughly one millimeter thick. We're cutting them in a shear, uh, just a hydraulic shear that we've got at the back of the shop. We're deburring them by hand and basically stapling Velcro on them. There, we cut one at a time. Last We did actually, we made 200 of these last uh, Thursday in a six hour day. We did 200 of them in a try. The crew came in today, there was four, four of the crew came in today and we made, uh, they ran 50 of them in about two hours. We've actually got some partners that are interested in helping with it. Um, Peter White um, from Western here has been speaking with uh, someone at General Dynamics who's willing to, if we need mass production, is willing to step up and help us with that as well. Yeah, these will be a first line of defense um, before it hits the mask and the other eye protection. The reason, one of the reasons we got involved, we have two um, staff members here whose spouses are involved, work in the hospitals, and it, it's something, Western's been good to us and it's time to give something back to the university as well. The whole crew, I think, feels really good. The whole group really got behind it and everyone's willing to come in and do their shift to get these done. Um, it's going to be a little bit of juggling to uh, keep our numbers down in the shop uh, while we go through it, but if we can get three people in at a time and keep them distance, it should be good. Uh, right now we have enough material here to make a thousand. Um, so five days we should have a thousand done.